this assignment to answer four questions. How do you communicate with in your workplace? Um, uh, I, uh, I feel like we're communicating all the time at work. Um, I am the uh, uh, chairman, chairperson, I'm the chair of um, the um, music school. Uh, but I'm still functioning basically as kind of a director, though we, we have another person who's come in as director now. Um, so I'm speaking all the time. I, about three days out of the week, I speak in chapel. Uh, so that's a regularly scheduled time with everybody that's a part of the college. Um, once, twice in a week, we have a faculty meeting that lasts about 40 minutes, and um, we all talk with each other. Uh, once a week, at least, I, uh, well, let me be accurate, at least once a month, I have a non, uh, no agenda meeting with every staff member. Um, and for most of our staff, especially our full-time staff, I meet with them a uh, minimum of once a week, and for most of them, I'm talking with them every day. So these are uh, formal, mostly the formal meetings uh, that are scheduled. And then informally, we just talk when there, there are issues that arise. And um, so we have a lot of communications um, op opportunities. Uh, those, those are conversations, you know, face-to-face -face conversations. Uh, we have uh, four or five WhatsApp groups uh, that include each of the classes. There are, you know, three uh, class levels, first year, second year, third year, for the bachelor's degree program. Here in India, the bachelor's degree is usually three years. And um, uh, are you comfortable communicating? Uh, yes and no. I mean, there's some conversations that are really difficult, and there are others that are easy. Or um, the kind of corrective conversations where somebody has clearly done something wrong, I still don't find those easy. Um, I think before we started this degree program, I would have been much more likely than I am now to try to avoid those conversations. Now I don't avoid them, but I still don't enjoy them um, and find them a challenge, knowing exactly how to take a tone that is uh, corrective and helpful, uh, relaxed and tense and all that kind of thing. It's, it's difficult. Do I feel heard in the organization? Yes, you know, it's really interesting. I asked a couple of people I, uh, on this campus uh, these questions and how they felt uh, concerning me on these issues. And they said they felt that uh, uh, I communicate really well, but that many times the message somehow gets lost and that um, uh, whatever the vision is of the organization isn't always what drives every person on the campus. Uh, a lot of people have their own agendas. That was some of the feedback. But I don't feel like I'm ignored. <laughs> um, do you feel you have a clear sense of yourself and voice within the organization? Uh, sometimes yes, sometimes no. In a sense, sometimes I feel like I, I am lost in the organization. It's almost like the organization is uh, dominated my time I think I'm not the only one who feels that way on this campus. Uh, like my identity is tied up in what happens and what doesn't happen at the Bangalore Conservatory. So in that sense, I think maybe you kind of lose yourself. Um, <laughs> but also there's so many good things happening on campus. I, I feel personally um, extremely gratified when things go well uh, because it seems like a, uh, a fulfillment of my own personal dreams and expectations. And again, I, I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one who feels that way. So I hope that answers the questions.